Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, first of all, can all the software developers in the room please put their hand up? Okay. If you deliver projects successfully 100% of the time, keep your hand up. Yeah, I thought so. All right. So first of all, are there, is there anyone in the room who's underage? Uh, is there anyone here who follows the Agile Manifesto? Are there any software craftsmanship people in the room? You might want to fucking leave now. <laughs> right? Because I'm here to tell you that everything you've been doing is completely wrong. Modern software development is a bit of a fallacy. Okay? We are not building software any better than our forebearers did before us 10, 15, 20 years ago. Right? We've got all these new tools and these new techniques, and yet we keep failing to deliver software. And, and why is this? Right? And Steve's got it right. It's actually about you guys, okay? It's about developers. It's not about tools and techniques and best practices and that sort of nonsense, okay? It's about you, the developer, and the code you write, okay? Best practices, dirty, dirty, dirty word, okay? If you're following best practices, you're not pushing the boundaries. You're not pushing yourself, okay? You need to think about better practices, okay? Push those boundaries. Challenge yourself and your team. Agile. If I get another person who walks up to me and says, I am a certified Scrum master, I will help you solve your software development problems. I will drop kick them out of my project. <laughs> Seriously. The uh, software craftsmanship guys, they're also very well meaning, but have you seen them walking along with their black cloaks and their incense, chanting Uncle Bob, Uncle Bob, Uncle Bob? They, they, just, they just creep me out. Okay? And it's, um, so I've got my own new manifesto. <laughs> And um, what I'm really trying to say here is the fact that we need to get back to writing code. We get so distracted by reading books, listening to our teammates, um, being pulled into meetings by managers, that we don't actually practice our craft often enough. Okay? So I'm going to go through some practical tips to help you take the power back as a developer. Okay? Take the power back from your teammates, your manager, your IDE. Okay? And we start with this. Every time you get up in the morning, after you do your 1,000 press-ups, and yes, I can do a 1,000 press-ups, tell yourself in the mirror, I am awesome, okay? Being a software developer is, is, is the closest thing to being a deity that you can possibly be in this industry, okay? So give yourself some hubris. <laughs> Next thing, only learn from yourself. You are the only person who is writing your code, not Martin Fowler, not Uncle Bob, certainly not your teammates, and certainly not the graduates, okay? Working by yourself, also very important. I like to have little mirrors on my uh, desktop monitor. If any of my teammates try and sneak up and talk to me, I can get up and leave, <laughs> right? <laughs> Headphones are also really, really awesome. Just block that out. Real tools. One word, Vi. <laughs> yeah? All you people out there know exactly what I'm saying. Uh, modern IDEs really piss me off because I just use up all my CPU and my RAM and they just, they just kill me. Source code is everything. Comments, waste of time. Test plans, waste of time. <laughs> Project plans, really, really big waste of time. Okay? Only the source code is going to turn into something that's usable at the end of the day. Sticking to what you know is also very important. For me personally, that's Perl 1.0, Java 1.0. <laughs> And a dash of COBOL if I have to really, really go back to basics. <laughs> Carrying on with this theme, unit tests, waste of time. Continuous integration, don't need it. Source control, that's what a USB stick is for. Okay, just take that code home and you'll be absolutely fine. For you static language people. <laughs> There, there goes what I was going to say for the next few seconds. <laughs> Users are there for testing, so if it's compiled, ship the damn thing. So, my point is, the engineers in the 50s and 60s wrote code in about 64K of memory, right, that sent us into outer space. Now that is a software engineering feat, okay? Did they have modern IDEs? Modern languages? Were they agileists? Did they follow the software craftsmanship manifesto? No. So it makes you think, doesn't it? Now I think we should all go back to the basics. Follow my new manifesto of programming motherfuckers. <laughs> all right, get back to writing code, and uh, yeah, and enjoy it. And thank you very much for listening to a first-time speaker. Have a good night. Yeah.